Good morning, National Dayers! It's Mrs. Erickson. Today is Tuesday, November 8th. It is the 312th day of the year. There are 53 days left. Happy National STEM or STEAM Day. National STEM or STEAM Day on November 8th calls for full steam ahead. This day inspires kids to explore and pursue their interests in science, technology, engineering, art, and math. STEAM is so important now more than ever because it shapes our everyday experiences. Of the U.S. Labor Department's predicted 10 fastest growing occupations, nearly all of them are STEAM-based careers. The United States has fallen behind other nations in science and math education. Let's motivate ourselves to pursue these subjects and keep up with the rest of the world. We must also close the gender gap that exists in STEAM-related careers. Building interests for both men and women is critical to their future earning potential. Celebrate STEAM Day and inspire students and adults alike in the world of science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Today is also National Cappuccino Day and National Parents as Teachers Day. All right, National Dayers, so today we're gonna make some string art. Gather the following supplies. You'll need some floral foam or a foam board, something that you can put push pins into, some push pins, actually a lot of push pins, a ruler, string, a marker, and scissors. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to draw a 90 degree perpendicular cross. So just whatever shape, since I had a round board, I just split the circle in half one direction and then used a piece of paper to make sure I had a 90 degree angle and split it in half the other direction. And then you wanna put equal amounts of push pins on all four lines. So I did seven push pins on each quadrant, if that makes sense. The next thing that you're gonna do is you're going to tie a knot in your string and poke it into the center push pin. And this part is a little complicated, but if you just follow what I'm doing, it'll make sense. So from the center, you wanna go up to the top and then down to the first push pin to the right, and then back up to the second push pin at the top, and then down to the third push pin on the right and back and forth. Top, right, top, right, top, right, top, right, until you've done that whole quadrant. And then when you reach the end, you turn it a quarter of a turn and you do it again. Top to the first right, second top to the second right, third top to the third right, fourth top to the fourth right, until you get all the way done with that section. Turn it a quarter of a turn, do it again. And then one more time, turn it a quarter of a turn and do it again, and then tie your string off. I even put a little hot glue on there to keep the string from unraveling. And this is just a really cool way to do string art. And you can do all different shapes. It's just the way that you run the string around the push pins. How stinking cool was this one? Okay, National Dares. Oh. We're so cool. This one was a good one. And just think you can make all different shapes. You can do stars and circles and rectangles and hexagons and decagons. That's a lot of shapes. I hope that you take some time today to do some science or math or art or engineering or some kind of incredible thing. Keep smiling, have a terrific Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. It's time for super spectacular shout outs. Shout outs today start us off with Mr. C and everyone in the transitional class at Perez Career and Transition Center in Los Angeles, California. Next up is Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Mack, and Mr. Javier, and everyone in the secondary TLC classroom at Lake Highlands High School in Dallas, Texas. Third up today is Miss Ashley and everyone in the day program and class 304 at the Ark of Evansville in Evansville, Indiana. 
Fourth up today is Miss Seifman and Miss Hughes and everyone in the sixth through eighth grade EC self-contained class at Nash Central Middle School in Nashville, North Carolina. Our fifth shout out today goes out to Mrs. Shalafo and everyone in the 18 through 21 transition program at William Tennant High School in Warminster, Pennsylvania. And our sixth shout out today goes out to Ms. Paola and everyone in the middle school special education program at CTC Academy in Oakland, New Jersey. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you loved your shout out. Teachers, if you'd like to get your class a shout out, just complete the Google form. The link can be found below this video in the description. And here it is, our updated, super spectacular shout out map.